Now we can see, able to hear me? Uh, now, yeah. Now it's okay, audio is perfect. Okay, now audio is perfect, right? Yeah. So can I start now? Okay, uh, so in this video, I'll discuss about, uh, in this webinar, uh, we will discuss about MACD. So, okay, okay, okay. Okay. Mm hmm okay so uh macd so macd uh macd uh just a minute just a minute just a minute hold on hold on hold on oh Okay, now you can see here, this is MT4, I'm using MT4 and I applied here MACD. So here you can see this is MACD and the manual period uh, 12, 26, and 9, all IEMA. All right, They're composed by EMA, that means exponential moving average, that is 12, 26, and nine. And here you can see another thing that is called histogram. Now let me tell you one by one how they form. All right, so let me tell you. So just a minute, yeah. Now you can see here in MACD, you can see this is MACD indicator, right? Here we have seen three components. One is MACD line, which is red. So here you can see this is red and this is called MACD line. And I'll tell you how they form. And another, you can see this is blue. This is <coughs> 20, this is MACD line and another, you can see this is signal line. So we people are using, this is called signal line. And another, this portion, you can see we have seen some line here somewhere above, this is called zero line, right? And above, this is called histogram. Is it clear? There are three, uh, component uh, in MACD, all right. So how they calculate MACD line? This MACD line, all right, let me tell you. It's calculating by 12 EMA minus 26 EMA, remember, don't be confused. People are, most of the people are teaching uh, 26 minus 12. This is wrong, remember. Original calculation is that 12 minus 26, what result comes, that is called MACD line, or most of the people are 
saying baseline baseline and signal line whatever you say macd line or signal line now we have seen macd line right this uh, line so let me show you how they form all right uh, let me remove this one so i'll show you exactly how they are forming let me zoom a little more or more bigger i want to make more bigger all right okay now okay whatever yeah so now you can see how they're calculating so let me open this calculator then you comes to know properly and now you can see where is 12. this blue line is 12. all right so let me zoom a little more here then it comes to no and focus on here all right here so let me show you how they are calculating so i wanna explain about this area all right this area all right this portion remember now first you can see here and at that time 12 line what is the period 4620 now 4620 just a minute here you can see exactly oh, sorry 4615 that means this is 12 all right is it clear now minus 26 what is the 26 period you can see minus 4 8 1 8 answer is what minus just a minute i think they are showing some wrong here you can see 4 six two five minus four eight one three what result comes one eight eight now you can see how make the line up form all right in this area and you can see result is showing around one eight almost same here you can see make the line up forming here all right this value when we will deduct from 12 ema where to where 12 ema here and what is the value here you can see this is the value market value right market value here and where is the running 20 ema is here and when we deduct from 12 ema to 26 ema what results comes and this line Call make the line up forming here below. Is it clear? Is it clear how they are calculated? Make the line, how make the line up forming? Is it clear? Very simple. All right, let me let me explain again. Let me explain again. So how this make the line are forming? So let me show you properly this red line. Have you seen this red line? All right. How they are forming? We are deducting 26 EMA from 12. What the results come? Make forming. Now how uh, signal line are forming? This red, uh, this uh, blue line. We have seen dot uh, dot dot line. We have seen this is blue light right so this is called signal line how signal line are forming signal line are forming by calculating 9 ema now 9 uh, make the line so here you can see from this area let me show you from this area suppose from this area we're gonna calculate nine days 
previous nine days from here we have seen uh, one day two day three four five six seven eight nine we have seen these nine days all right so these nine days so i think here from this area and now they are calculating this value this macd value suppose let's assume macd value are uh, all right uh suppose 100 all right uh 105 right uh 99 like that and 87 all right and uh, again 95 for example 95 and 92 like that one two three four five six we need or more three uh, 80 uh, 85 and another one 70 suppose all right value so suppose this value this uh, nine days period value all right so divided by nine got it what result comes this best line are for me this best line are oh, sorry signal line are for me all right this signal line are for me is it clear and the next how this macd diagram are forming all right this macd diagram are forming by deducting signal line that means blue minus macd line macd line so what value comes in this area so they are forming this uh, histogram line is it clear is it clear you just let me know do you have any doubt how they are forming here all right you can see here how they are forming here is it clear right <clears throat> So I hope you people are able to understand how they make the line up for me, right? All right. So why we use MACD line? So we use MACD line, find out the market trend. And so let me use another thing here. Level, I wanna use at zero level and I wanna use a color here uh, it might be a red okay now you can see this is a red line so let me change the color and it will be good and i want to change here to like that now you can see here we have seen this is zero line right when macd a uh, histogram are running above the zero line right so it is confirming from this area that means trend is running in an uptrend all right when macd line are forming below sorry macd line uh, histogram forming below the zero line it means trend is running in a downtrend is it clear all right now 
uh, let me tell you the trading strategy so most of the i think most of the people are not able to hear me they are so voice is okay right most of the people are not able to hear i don't know why okay nice so most of the people are not able to hear me i don't know i think some Hmm. Okay. 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 Now I'll show you trading strategy here. Remember that was the uh, basic of uh, what call uh, MACD. Now I'll show you how to trade by using MACD. All right. So basically, I want to tell you two trading strategy here uh, by using if you want to know more details about MACD, you just uh, visit to my website somewhere here. Okay, now you can see this is my website. You just read here, you just visit there and read properly. So I already explaining everything. How to use uh, MACD, how to trade. So basically in this area, I given two trading strategy by using MACD. So let me tell you. First, this is called crossover. All right. When, so let me remove this one. Okay, now. First, when sig uh, signal line cross MACD line, they are indicating buy or sell order. If signal line cross MACD line above zero level, now you can see this is a zero line and price is uh, running from this area and point uh, forming this histogram below zero line and at that time we have seen there is a crossover so in that area and the price was here somewhere and this is called sell signal all right now we have seen here some crossover they have given a buy signal let me show you some buy opportunity here you can see here there was a buy opportunity, but price again fall down. Now, how you will identify that fact point? All right. How we identify the fact point? And when to enter in this market? All right. So in that case, we are using some support and resistance line now you can see if you wanna filter this area you can see we have seen some buy opportunity here and at that time they are forming and the histogram are forming above zero line and at that time we have seen some candle are there when you wanna enter for the buy or sell always leave at least 20 point above for the large time frame i'm talking about 20 point above is somewhere here but you can see price didn't trigger your buy opportunity next you can see here we have seen some buy opportunity at that time somewhere here candle was and our buy order will be somewhere above here and triggered buy and continue toward the upside and uh, similarly you can see here we have seen there was a crossover and exactly i think here was candle and we'll place sell order somewhere below at least 20 point below and you can see price is falling down all right this is called buy or sell entry all right so this is called crossover trading strategy and another filter confirmation let me use uh, that is called uh, divergence trading strategy or convergent and divergent trading strategy now you can see 
here this point and this point we have seen here if you want to draw a line by connecting these two points you can see price is falling down right they are creating lower low and a lower high now if you want to enter here you can see the price are pushing up from this area right have you seen from this area and price is pushing up when they are forming this type of pattern in macd it is confirming trend will change from this area is it is it clear so let me show you another example uh, okay okay now here you can see from this area we have seen they are creating lower low and lower high and from this area you can see macd are creating higher high and higher low have you seen they are creating this was low and they are creating lower low right they are creating lower low but here you can see that was lower low at that time here you can see this was the point and similarly similarly you can see the macd line are pushing upside and here original price is showing falling down but macd are showing the price is pushing down pushing up so when they are forming this type of pattern this confirming that trend will change and in that case we are looking for a breakout so what is the breakout for the breakout we are looking for some support and resistance once they break this level you can see they broke this area and that is our buy opportunity all right and uh, similarly at that time we have seen there a crossover let me show you now at that time we have seen there are crossover have you seen that was a crossover and price continue toward upside that is a buy opportunity all right is it clear and at that time always use trend line so let me show you another here you can see we just draw a trend line by connecting this previous higher point and you can see this was higher point then the higher low tosses point tosses point and the tosses point and up finally they broke this area and at that time we have seen there was a crossover so that is called buy opportunity all right is it clear right that is buy opportunity so for the sell you can see let me show you for the sell we have seen some sell opportunity in this area have you seen so exactly we have seen here all right so in that case i want to draw a trend line by connecting this trend line so you can see here we have seen some crossover but at that time price was running above this trend line diagonal trend line so there is no sell opportunity in this area all right there is no sell opportunity so similarly we have seen here crossover in that case we're gonna draw a horizon a diagonal trend line in that case you can see rejecting point rejecting point and a rejecting point and after that finally cross over here and similarly macd also crossed here so there is a buy opportunity all right so let's jump to 15 minute chart how it should look like that that was uh, uh, that was a daily time frame now you can see here <coughs> oh, it's not good that much uh, okay now let's see now let's see here we have seen some crossover here and here we have seen crossover that means here is a sell opportunity all right but can we sell here can we enter for the sell direct uh, sort here 
no why let me draw this line have you seen i want to connect two recent lower point have you seen two recent first second so you can see price are above this supporting line so we never gonna take sell opportunity in this area all right so in that case, most of the people are thinking, hey, can I start selling here? No, you can't enter. Now you can see, can we enter sell in this area, the cross here? Can we enter sell here? No. Why? Because if you wanna enter here, price is running above this supporting line. Have you seen? They have given sell opportunity, but price are still running above this supporting line it is crossover but no sell opportunity for the buy you can see let me show you for the buy now we have seen crossover for the buy right this is a buy opportunity can we enter for the buy so let me show you okay at that time i want to connect more recent point touches point have you seen we have seen this is higher point touches point touches point and similarly they broke down in this area that that was our buy opportunity all right is it clear so i hope you understand how to trade how to use a macd properly exactly so if you have any doubt you just leave a comment do you have any doubt do you have any doubt you just leave a comment if you are not able to understand you can see so now recent you can see this is crude oil we have seen there was a sell opportunity so you just always uh, draw a line here by connecting most recent point have you seen i just connect most recent point here this recent point swing low swing low and a swing low finally they broke this trend line and at that time make the cross and that 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 was our sell opportunity right have you seen that was our sell opportunity now most of the people are thinking here we have seen some buy opportunity let me show you all right let me show you exactly so let me draw some resistance line at that time we have seen here just a minute at that time we have seen buy opportunity all right and price was here exactly there is no buy occur is it clear so i hope you people are able to understand how to trade using by uh macd so if you have any doubt you can ask me or you can ask me any question whatever in which related to technical analysis i can ask me You can ask me, feel free, don't be hesitant. Ask me if you have any doubt, any market, any technical related, any topic. You can ask me, I'm ready to answer you. So if you don't have any queries, so I think you people are able to understand how to use MACD. And if you are not able to understand, I will create a video regarding MACD trading strategy in my YouTube channel. And you just visit there and you can, you can. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, no issue, okay. And you can visit there or and you can see my videos how to use various type of indicator or trading strategy. All right, so I hope you people are able to understand how to trade using by MACD. 
So thanks for giving your valuable time. I hope uh, you people are able to understand, right? So thanks for giving your time and I hope you learn how to use MACD. So see you next uh, Saturday with a new topic.